let's check out this silver base ES Outlander. It's ES trim level in Canada. Could be uh, named a little bit different in uh, other markets, but this is essentially base vehicle, an entry level vehicle. Silver in color. This is, by the way, how white would look like on base. And this is how black looks like. On the black one, definitely chrome stands out a little bit more. Well, let's have a look at this silver one here. Silver, by the way, is one of the popular colors on this entry level trim level. So go and figure. Cool thing that comes standard with this in Canada is uh, seven seats. I believe that's a standard equipment throughout uh, all the markets, but all wheel control is standard as well. It's the first time Mitsubishi done it. All wheel control standard on a vehicle and uh, seven seats as well. Uh, all new interior. Let's check that out. Cloth interior for the base. You don't get power seats or anything like that, but not too many people go crazy about power seat options if you want to you can always upgrade same steering wheel on all trim levels so this nice perforated thick feel for the steering wheel let's hop in for a second nice large screen right here with backup camera it's right here don't get the 360 camera but uh, this will do the job beautiful screen right here when you turn the vehicle on and off you get a little bit of information and uh, animation here there we go I like that and when you scroll this here to select your drive mode the screen changes as well so it gives you the visual reference it does help push the start button very cool feature it has also a bunch of safety features it has blind spot information system so you have that right here warns you if somebody is in your blind spot that's all standard you do have forward mitigation uh, system so essentially the vehicle brakes if you if you missed a car in front of you um, in quite a few markets uh, insurance company is going to give you a discount on your uh, on your rate if you have that system in your vehicle so with the Mitsubishi Outlander you get that standard this one also has a cool feature it's called um, rear emergency stop. So uh, if you backing up and you didn't uh, notice uh, a car or any type of object behind you, uh, it'll, it'll stop. Let's try that out real quick. And then uh, let's take this out for uh, uh, just a very, very quick drive around the building basically here. So we're backing up. We're not noticing anything. Boom. The vehicle stopped itself pretty cool I obviously took a gamble here trying against the real car don't do it yourself uh, let's take it out for a quick drive here it drives nice I like it a lot okay Let's have a look real quick how seven seats would look and then the uh, the second row of the vehicle Okay, so here's the second row we have some stuff on the seats So you can adjust these seats recline them in a 60 40 split that also comes in standard another nice feature Let's pop the uh, trunk Okay, here's where we have third row seat you can fold it down if you don't want it. A little bit uh, storage bin here. You for, To fold it down, you do need to remove uh, these, seat, uh, these uh, headrests here, and then you can put them or store them right there. If you don't want to fold them, that's a nice storage bin. You don't get the uh, a power tailgate with the base, that's fine. We can close it like that anyways. Nice 18 inch alloy wheels come in standard as well. The design of them look actually quite nice. Uh, overall, this vehicle looks very, very good. It doesn't look like a base vehicle or anything like that. Equipped with a bunch of safety features that are awesome. And the interior looks quite good. So you definitely don't get uh, a feeling that you're driving some type of like base or entry level vehicle when you're in the car. 
and driving. You have the stitching, soft touch materials. It's right here. This one is hard plastic. All the same horizontal uh, design for it. You can't go wrong. I also did a uh, comparison video base with Outlander, base Outlander with fully loaded Outlander. So you can watch that. I'm gonna uh, put it in the comments down below uh, just to see what exactly the visual differences are between base and fully loaded. Thank you for watching.